Good morning, YouTube. Oh gosh, my voice cracked. It's the first time I've spoken this morning. It is currently 5.18 a.m. on June 1st. Yep, it's June. So, happy June, and this is another hair video. Um, this is kind of like a sequel. So, I've already moisturized my hair and sealed it with an oil, and today I just rinsed it with some water. Not really rinsed it, but put some water on it to refresh the curls, because yesterday I wore it... Um, I let it air dry under my satin bonnet as I went to work the night shift and then yesterday I wore a head wrap just to keep the hair protected so we're actually going to style it today. What I'm going to use is the coconut curling cream from Cantu. It looks like this. So now we're actually going to style this and I'm showing you guys this process because I'm not using any gels to style this wash and go. So I'm just going to take small sections and finger comb it through. Like I said, the hair has already been moisturized and it's already pretty defined. So this is just gonna add some extra moisture, some extra definition. And I'm doing pretty big sections as you can see because like I said, it already is full of moisture and I don't want this to happen too, too, too much. So I'm trying to do big sections and spread it out all over. Yeah, that's working much better to do a big section. So we're probably going to seal with even more oil today. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing it into my hair and I'm literally squishing it at the ends. And this is just going to, like I said, help define it, re-moisturize, all those good, great things that natural hair needs. And like I said, this is going to style it for our wash and go using a cream styler. And I'm using a cream styler because I plan to do a braid out. So tonight is actually probably going to be the first time that I braid it out. That I actually braid it up. And I'll probably just use this coconut curling cream in that process. Because I won't need much of it because it's going to be so moisturized. I'll probably just reapply it to the ends because I kind of want a fluffy, big fluffy braid out. Now I'm just feeling where it's still a little... Where it's not as moisturized, there's some sections that I can feel didn't get any coconut curling cream. Adding some in those sections. Doing the same process as the other side, kind of just squishing all my hair back. Actually squishing all my ends together. Making sure that my ends are well coated. Squishing it in. Oops, got some on my forehead. Make sure the back is coated, the edges are all coated. And now my hair is super moisturized. So now it's time to shake. And I'm gonna wipe my hands off on, do I bring that t-shirt with me? It's over here on my t-shirt that I used to soak up some of the water so you can see that it is white and that's okay and now if you want to go through and finger comb little sections that's going to add even more definition but since this is being braided up later I'm not looking to have like a super defined wash and go I'm looking to have a super moisturized wash and go because this is literally just going to be going into a braid out. Now you can add more product where you feel you need it. But usually shaking my hair helps it clump together. So now you can see the curls. And I just want to make sure that they're extra moisturized. And they're actually pretty defined. As you can see, so we're going to style this now. Like I said, this is going to be a wash and go. And I think I'm just going to throw a headband on. And 
and the whiteness will go away. I have low porosity hair, so as this dries, it will soak into the strands. In some areas, it's already starting to absorb. So again, that was the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. Moisture is supposed to define and moisturize dry, damaged hair. And that's exactly what it does. We're going to go in with a little bit more castor oil. I used this in the first half of the video, or the first part of this process. I just took like a palm full. You probably can't even see it. But just to seal this in again and really focus on the edges of my hair, the perimeter. The first time around, really focusing on the edges. And then I'm going to take another handful and focus on the ends. I just kind of rub my hand over the ends of my hair. As you guys can see, just patting this in. I'll smooth over some sections. Sure the ends are I think we are good. So you can see I'm like grabbing it upon until patting the ends, making sure it's all in there. All right, so that's it for actually like applying product for styling. And like I said, later tonight I'm literally just gonna comb out small sections and then braid them up and then apply more of the coconut curling cream just to the ends. You know how you twirl the ends around your finger to coil it? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make relatively small size braids because I want to really stretch plaits, not really braids, you know, like little plaits. Um, not cornrows, but away from the head. Um, and then coil the ends using more of the coconut curling cream. Probably add even a little bit more castor oil to the ends because I really want it to be moisturized because I'm going to have it fluffy. It's going to end up being more undefined than defined because I'm not going to use any gels. So I'm just putting that back in the basket and now we're going to put on a headband. Let's see if I can find one. And this is all I'm going to do for styling. Really short, really simple wash and go style. This is like my go-to, one of my go-to styles from Since I've Been Natural. When I'm in a rush, this is normally what I'll do if I know I'm going to be stretching my hair. So I have this one. It's kind of stretched out. I was looking for one that's a little more, a little less stretched. That's not as old. But I just put it around my neck twice. Give the hair one last shake. Let you guys see the definition. And this is without any gel. And it smells so good. That's another reason I wanted to wear these wear these products, use these products, is because they smell really good. And I'm going to be around a lot of people, so <laughs> I wanted my hair to smell really good. And be really soft, which it is. And then I just bring up the headband. And I really just push it back. Like so. And in the front, I'm going to push it back more than I do the back so that the edges of my hair can be seen. And for my edges, I will slick them down. Let's see if we can use up the rest of my Eco Styler. But this is how I'm just going to wear it. And I'm about to slick down my edges, and that's going to be it for my hair. So I'm going to let it air dry once again, but without a satin bonnet. Oh, it smells so good. These products smell really, really good. All right. And by slicking my edges down now, that will help them to stay slicked down for when I actually do the braid out. So it's like I'm killing two birds with one stone by just going ahead and slicking them down now. And I'll show you guys how I do that, which you guys have seen before. So I'll be right back. Alright, 
so to slick my edges down, I prefer to use a gel. And the gel I like to use is the Eco Styler gel, any of the colors really. I actually prefer the crystal, the clear one to slick my edges down, but I used it all up. And I've had this one for a year and it's basically empty, but I've been using my toothbrush to just scrape whatever's left out of it. And this might be the last day I even attempt to scrape stuff out. I already have the toothbrush inside that I like to use to do my edges and literally I'm scraping whatever's left in here to do my edges. And I literally just brush the gel into the edges of my hair and follow up with my finger to smooth it in there. And our edges already have cast oil on them so they're nice and moisturized and protected. I love how the ends of my hair are trying to get in the way from me having great edges. They just don't want to let my edges be great. <sighs> Go away hair. So yeah, when I don't put gel on my TWA, even on my TWA, even if I do put gel on my hair, my hair always will shrink up to basically a TWA. So if I want to actually show off my length, I either have to blow it out, flat iron it, or do a stretch style to show more of my length. And I want to show off my length at the event I'm going to on Saturday, which is why I am doing all this. Uh-oh, I accidentally just brushed one of my curls. All right, so... Yeah, this headband isn't even really staying back like I wanted to. Now I'm just going to kind of brush the actual flattened hairs at the front of the headband. In front of the headband. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. And yeah, that's it for edges. Like, my edges lay down really easy and they're not going to go anywhere. So that's all I do for my edges and that is this style with the headband. So that concludes this video. And like I said, you guys will see the braid out eventually i just want to give you guys different options and ideas like you don't always have to use gel for your wash and goes um you know gel is just for me the fastest easiest thing to do is like after i wash my hair i don't put any moisturizing product no nothing i just go in with a gel that has oil in it to kind of seal and defy and all that stuff at one time but i'm taking the long route as you can see in now you guys can see the curls. You can see how the product has absorbed in this area. It's not as white. Um, yeah. And so this is going to dry like this. And like I said, I'm going to braid it up tonight to get it stretched for Saturday, which is exciting. So if you guys enjoy this video, um, let me know what else you want to see when it comes to hair. Just giving you guys kind of a 360 look. And like I said, the white residue will go away once it dries. But if you want your wash and go to be soft and touchable, using products like I use, like the Coconut Curling Cream or the Curl Enhancing Smoothie from Shea Moisture, things like that are going to give it that definition but soft touch. So yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. Thank you for watching this video. And now I'm going to make a makeup tutorial on a new, well, a technique I've discovered that makes make blast for oily skin. Again, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye YouTube.